Hey, what's up? I'm uh, I'm sick and I'm bored, so I thought I'd make a video on some shitty neurotropics that I used to use back when I was in my late teens and early 20s. So I found out about neurotropics through uh, <laughs> like acid YouTubers back before uh, YouTube demonetized them all. Dudes like Psych Substance and uh, Avi LSD, they would talk about these things called uh, neurotropics and you know me being like 17 was like I right, I know everything I got this I'm gonna I'm start fucking with some neurotropics and get my brain power up so I started off with this one called uh, Phenibut which uh, it acts like Xanax and alcohol it like hits your GABA receptors but it doesn't make you like loopy it doesn't make you uh, like you can still drive on the stuff but uh I, I don't recommend that don't don't quote me on that you probably shouldn't drive on that stuff but uh yeah you you remain pretty clear-headed you don't slow your words or nothing but uh the thing about it is it is the most addictive thing in the sense that if you take it for two days you're gonna have withdrawal on the third day dude like you're gonna feel it like if you take this stuff for a week and then stop taking it you're gonna have bad withdrawal i'm talking about like fever sweating feeling extremely sick like after one week of using it like i got a, a percocet prescription this one time dude and uh, i took that stuff for two weeks and i didn't feel sick at all coming off of it but one week of fanabute and i was ill it was insane and you know i kept using it for like a few years and I had to go to rehab I guess it was bad anyways moving on number two uh, a draphanil yeah a draphanil is uh this stuff that converts to modafinil in your liver if you don't know what modafinil is modafinil was hyped up by shitty journalists as like this limitless pill it works like uh kind of like a Ritalin but it doesn't get you high really it just gets you like that focus you're a little more alert you can pay attention better and uh, you know I noticed it it did help it work but the two really crazy side effects that it gave me was the worst acne of my entire life like I had completely clean skin before this stuff I used it for a year and I still have terrible acne scarring because of it four or five years later terrible acne scar and uh, it also makes your piss smell horrendous it, it's just garbage dude all these neurotropics are garbage don't waste your money don't waste your time it's just a scam drink a coffee in the morning go to bed a little earlier get some good sleep and your brain will be doing fine dude fuck all that neurotropic neurotropic noise you don't need it trash